Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today you have Kiana here and I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this absolutely beautiful blowout using no heat. So stay tuned. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling. It's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. Getting right into it, these are the items that you are going to need. My hair is looking cray cray, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna go in using a wide tooth comb, a detangling brush, clippy clips, heat protectant, and for the star of the show, the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. I love this thing, you guys. So, pre-dry prep, because we don't want to go in with soaking wet hair, you guys. That is a no-no. I'm gonna go in with this Heat protectant, you guys, from Korea Botanical. I love it. It's a little greasy, a little oily, a little heavy, but it's okay because it's going to protect my beautiful luscious strands. I'm gonna go on ahead and comb that out with my wide tooth comb. No fine tooth combs here, you guys. I don't wanna break off my hair. Um, the white residue that you all see on my hair is my leave-in conditioner. So yeah, my hair is not dirty, okay? Time to blow dry. All right, going in with the one step blow dryer, I'm putting it on cool and as you all can see, my technique is actually holding the blow dryer up to the very top of my hair for a while and then sliding the blow dryer down the shaft of my hair. I do that because I, you guys, don't want to cause any like unnecessary manipulation or any unnecessary breakage. So I'll hold it at the very top and then like I said, run it down the strands of my hair. And as you all can see, sometimes I flip it over as well just to create a little bit more tension in my roots. My roots were still a little bit wet. So I'm gonna go on ahead and hold the blow dryer at the roots again. Then once it's 90% dry, as you all can see, I'm taking my brush by Felicia Leatherwood and creating a little bit more tension so that I can get a nice sleek blowout on cool hair. Isn't that cool? This is the method that I have come up with and I absolutely love it. So starting out with my next section, as you all can see you guys, doing the same thing again, holding my hair taut while I hold the blow dryer at the very root of my hair. Holding it there for a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Then I'm going to go on ahead and slide that blow dryer down the shaft of my hair, you guys. Okay, this is the best way that I have chosen to uh, do my blowouts simply because it seems as though most of the heat from this blowout or cool air or whatever from this blowout is distributed from the very top end of the blow dryer, which is really weird. And so that's why I like to just kind of hold it there. Now, this is not causing any damage or anything of that nature to my hair because it is cool air and that's what i love about this it's it's very cool air but again it's getting my hair straight enough so that i won't have any single strand knots at the very ends of my hair another method that i'm showing you guys is when i need more tension i will grab this brush and i'll just create more tension which will give me a more stretched out blowout again i love this method and look at how straight it got my hair and this is on cool air cool air y'all Yes, love it. love it, So I'm gonna go on ahead and twist that portion up and then move on to the rest of my beautiful, luscious strands. All right, so we wanna make sure that we go on ahead and towel blot the rest of the hair, put some more oil on it and proceed to pick it out, comb it out, Look, texture shot, texture shot, texture shot. And then go on ahead and hold the air onto the root. Then make your way down to the length of your beautiful, luscious strands. Now, I have low porosity here, you guys. So I find that applying just a little, little bit of warm air or cool air, along with this method of stretching my hair, allows the product that I've applied to my hair, be it the leave-in conditioner, to fully soak into my strands, thus allowing my hair to stay more moisturized and in turn, preventing single strand knots. So you guys, this is the final result of my updated blowout routine. 
I had to do the first part of the video in voiceover for obvious reasons because y'all don't want to hear that or you don't want to hear me trying to talk over that. So that is the reason why. Now, my review of the Crea Botanicals 2-in-1 Gloss Thermal Protector is I like it. Um, I like it. It is a little bit thick. You do have to shake it up. Some of the ingredients in here are coconut oil, caranja oil, raspberry fruit. Like the, it's so small on here that I literally can't even read it. But I like this stuff. However, it is a little bit heavy for my low porosity hair and I feel my hair weigh down a bit. But I do like the fact that it seems to really protect my hair because like I feel the protection, I guess, if that makes sense. It's not too light of a product to where you don't feel as though your strands are not protected. So I just put my hair in these twists, you guys, just to make sure that it stayed stretched as I blow dry the rest of my hair. Get into the shine, you guys. Like, get into the shine, y'all. I am absolutely loving it. So let's go ahead and take down these twists. So that we can see what this blowout is looking like okay now also let me just note that this is a favorite of mine since 2019 I actually picked this up late last year I did like an IG video on it but I picked it up late last year and I love this thing as y'all saw in the actual video one of the tricks that I use to give my hair a little bit more attention is by taking like this brush which is my this is the old Felicia Leatherwood brush or taking like this and I'll actually put it up against the actual blow dryer and as I am blow drying my hair and just going down the shaft of my hair you guys it is creating more tension thus getting my hair much straighter than it would have gotten with just this and just these bristles because they're a little bit wide as y'all can see so yeah I really really love that method and there you have it I am just fluffing the roots even though this is not a style I'm just showing y'all exactly what my hair looks like after it is blown out and some twists have been taken out of it I only had to twist in for a few minutes but I already have wow this looks like a low key style and I already got like a little twist out pattern going on from this oh yeah okay let me show you guys what the back looks like all right, look at this shine, y'all. Get into this shine. My hair has gotten so much thicker, you guys, and I really feel like I've been able to retain more length since I have incorporated, like, using this blow dryer within my, uh, my routine because for my low porosity and my medium dense I'd say it's kind of on a fine medium dense side my strands are I feel like wearing my hair in a stretched out state 98% of the time truly helps me retain length you guys why because like the ends of my hair they're not coiling around one another but yeah so I really really do like it so anyways you guys this is the final result let me know what you all think of this video let me know what you think of my actual updated blowout routine let me know what y'all think of this brush if y'all have it and if you've not had an opportunity to try this two-in-one gloss protectant by Crea Botanicals make sure that you do I really love it even though I have low porosity hair so Make sure that you leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.